are the TIP Architecture students. Come and join us as we explore the most beautiful park here in the Philippines. The Cementerio General de Dilao. Known today as the Paco Park. Now, let us show you how you can commute from TIPQC to Paco Park. The total fare from TIPQC to Paco Park is 41 to 57 pesos. From TIP, ride a jeepney going to Cubao that costs 8 pesos without discount and 7 pesos for students, senior citizens, and PWDs. Then, from LRT to Cubao Station, buy a ticket or BIP card bound to Recto Terminal Station. It costs only 20 pesos for single journey tickets and 19 pesos for stored value tickets. Then, from Recto Station, go to LRT1 Diocese Station and buy a ticket bound to Baclaran and a light at UN Station. The fare is 15 pesos for single journey tickets and 14 pesos for stored value tickets. And upon alighting from UN Station, there are two options. You can ride a tricycle that costs around 70 pesos for 5 persons or just walk along the way to the park. And at last, we are now at Paco Park, Manila. city of Manila, it's a small and old circular park which used to be a municipal cemetery for Spanish aristocrats of the walled city of Intramuros, the Paco Park and Cemetery. Situated in the western boundary of the district of Paco and in the eastern end of Padre Faura Street, Paco Park and Cemetery was completed and opened to public in 1822 as a burial ground for victims of Asiatic cholera pandemic that swept across the continent in 1817 to 1824. It later became a resting place of the Spanish high society in late 1800s. But aside from the Spanish aristocrats buried in the cemetery, it was also a resting ground of four Filipino national heroes, the martyred priests fathers Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora were buried on its ground after their executions on February 17, 1872. Meanwhile, our foremost national hero, Jose Rizal, was secretly buried here after his execution on the early morning of December 30, 1896, where it was dug up and kept by the family in an urn on August 17, 1896, and later on enshrined in Loneta on December 30, 1912. Interment stopped in 1913, and in 1966, Paco Park was declared a national park. The original cemetery is the inner circular wall with five tiers of wall niches, but due to the flooding, the floor was raised, thus the three top layers of niches are visible today. Eventually, an outer wall was built to accommodate the increasing population. At the top of the main gate of the first circular wall is a wood with the classic Latin text common to old cemeteries. Beati morti qui in domino morium tu. Which means, blessed are the dead who die in the grace of Lord. At the center of the park is a Roman Catholic chapel dedicated to Saint Pancreatius. The oval chapel has cemented dome and according to a marker outside the chapel, the original altar used to be white and gold with the repositories for remains of governor and bishops during the Spanish times at the sites. Today, the Paco Park is a favorite venue for weddings, photo shoots and musical concerts of artists, families and lovers. It is a romantic spot amid the busy city and a reminder of Manila's rich past. The park is open every day from 7 in the morning up until 5 in the afternoon, and the entrance fee is 10 pesos per head. 
It is maintained by the National Parks Development Committee or NPDC, while the chapel is under the jurisdiction of San Vicente de Paul Parish located at Ermita, Manila.